Hey, gorgeous! Welcome to this episode. This is all about treasure hunting, finding the gem of your richness, of your abundance, of hidden wealth all around you. Now, the quickest way to feel rich is to express your appreciation and gratitude of the abundance that you already have in your life. Acknowledge what you have, and you can attract even more. There is wealth all around you. There is money all around you. There's richness all well around you. There is abundance all around you. Some of it ignored, some of it unloved, and some unacknowledged. Becoming aware of the hidden money, hidden wealth, hidden richness in your world gives the universe permission to give you more. After all, if you're not looking after what you Have as a steward of your own money and abundance, then why would the universe send you even more? So today we are going to look for the hidden gems. We are going to go on a treasure hunt. So first exercise, exercise number one is called cashing in. Now gather up all the loose coins in your life. Search in pockets, bags in your car, behind the sofa, inside the cupboards, behind the books. Inside the books, everywhere, and every time you you receive or you find, say thank you to every single coin. Okay, take the coins to the bank, spend them, or surprise someone. Okay, if you to maybe your your kids or something, and pour them all in. Okay, whatever you do, please vow from today onwards that you will never scatter your money and wealth around again. I want you to designate a beautiful spot for all your coins moving forward. You can put a bowl. You can put a crystal bowl. Right. This is a reminder that you always have what you need. Exercise two. Abundance is everywhere. Find all the hidden gems in your life. Even unlocking a few dollars can start the flow of abundance in the right direction. Some of these ideas will feel like it's too much hard work. Ignore everything that would cost you more in terms of time or energy. Start with the easiest or the most profitable things first. Whenever you are feeling bad about money, pick up something at random and unlock that money. As always, track any money or value that you can find. Some of the hidden gem ideas: number one, cash and liquid assets; number two, debt invoice and outstanding payments; number three, vouchers, certificates, and loyalties; number four, business opportunities; number five, refunds, mistakes, and rebates; number six, make some extra cash. Number seven, when all else fails. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> okay, so let me give you examples of the hidden gems under the category of cash and liquid assets. Withdraw your PayPal balance to your bank account. PayPal money is real money too. Withdraw your Shopee account, Lazada account, shopping cart balance to your bank account. Grab or Uber included. All this money is real money too. Deposit any checks that you haven't cashed in. Dig up foreign currency from your last holiday, whenever that can be. In the last holiday we remembered, check your bags. Go through the hidden compartments. Some of my clients even have money in socks. Don't laugh; it's true, and in shoes as well. Okay, so go and find them, and your passport wallet.、Uh, go exchange it, or if it's a small amount, you can donate it、uh, next time. Right.、Uh, next is deposit cash that's lying around, especially clients' cash. Sometimes clients hand you. Cash, physical cash in a stack of cash, and you put it in your drawer. You forget it. 
Now, sometimes you hide it inside your, uh, you know, in your bag, and then you change back and then you forget about it, right? So go and deposit the cash that's lying around. Next one, close down old bank accounts and hunt around for forgotten savings account. You'd be surprised. Maybe you open an account with your ex or you open an account with your mom and totally forgot about it. And then you probably open six different bank accounts of six different banks because you didn't want to put all your eggs in one basket, right? So, and you probably forgot about it. Please go and close those old bank accounts and re-look at your finances, okay? And really put all your money together. Ah, next one is to check for unclaimed bank accounts. Next one, search for old uh uh old checks or something that probably your boss has given you before. Uh, I don't know if that's in your culture, but uh, sometimes when you work in a job, the bonus could be a watch, uh, maybe a long service uh, award, right? Or every Chinese New Year or every New Year, uh, your employer will give you a coin, a gold coin. Because in Asian culture, we, if you work in a certain type of trade, uh, the, the bosses were a little bit more traditional other than bonuses, they also give out gold coins. Not kidding. They even give out gold bars as well. I have seen that before, okay? So go and find them because they could be hidden somewhere in your stash. So consolidate them if possible. Next one, do paperwork for legal money that you can claim. For example, your CPF, uh, in inheritance, uh, court claims, compensation, Whatever that may be, right? So go and do paperwork for the legal money. You can claim back, okay? And then claim money from any uh, winning lottery ticket, 4D, Toto ticket as well. You know, go and claim the money from there. I mean, if you have won money, that is. Claim any benefits from your job or old jobs, untaken holiday pay, uh, benefits. Go and claim those benefits, if any. Take your piggy banks or money box or money envelopes or coin jars to the bank. I mean, it could be worth more than you think. The other one is very applicable applicable for people like us online. Uh, we have a lot of affiliate income. For me, a part of my income comes from affiliate marketing. And sometimes I forget as well, you know, where are my money? And because it's not automatically being transferred to my PayPal account, we need to go in, you know, click some buttons, you know, activate the transfer, right? So go click, uh, go check your affiliate accounts for unpaid commissions. Just recently, I had a $900 commission, USD commission, in an affiliate account that was promoting for lead pages. Uh, there's a funnel account, like a funnel software. So so I had $900, okay? And and it wasn't paid to me yet because I didn't go in to click on some buttons somewhere. So go check your affiliate accounts, darling. Next, check on your royalty statements on your credit cards that you have or royalty statements where you sell your audios, uh, royalty statements for when you sell your books on platforms, Okay, so everywhere that you sell your goods and services, keep track of all your accounts in one place because there could be some hidden extra money somewhere. Claim back any, also any old rental or tenancy deposits. Okay, that will be one thing as well. If you're in credit with your utility bills, uh, you can actually call up to waive some of the application or um, the re renewal of the next card. Or even check whether by using a credit card to pay for your utility bills, uh, whether you get any coin, uh, coins, I mean, as in, like points as well, that you can use it to offset. I remember I was on a telco in Singapore, it's called Star Hub, and I was once their customer. And during that period, the moment you enrolled in their VIP program, they uh, you can actually offset the points to purchase a month of subscription for your telephone line. So, and I did just that. So always check back the credits that you may have in your uh, utility bills and, and things like that, okay? 
Next, we move to category, the next category, which is the debts, the invoices and outstanding payments. All right, this is all about finding hidden gems. Yeah, we are going for the treasure hunt. Don't be afraid to chase your money. Mm, okay, don't be afraid. I'm here. <laughs> all right, send any outstanding invoices. Open up all your old paperwork. You might find some unexpected abundance in there. Remind clients that they owe you money. Give them a deadline. For example, they need to pay before your next meeting. Chase your friends and family who owe you money. I have got some clients who had their brothers or sisters owe them like $30,000, $50,000. That kind of amount. And... Of course, it was very long time ago. They probably have lent them the money. So I think it's all right if you send them a simple text with a bank account details, maybe would be a great way to start. Uh, you could also chase up on child support payments, mm -hmm, especially if you're a single parent. All right. Or you could ask your lawyer to chase up any outstanding legal payments. Oh, I have done that a lot of times to chase outstanding legal payments. And of, of course, uh, send delinquent client um, to uh, to send a delinquent client uh, an email and say, hey, you have not paid me yet. Can you please pay me, please? The other one is you can check your supplier agreements because sometimes they could overcharge you, uh, you know, you uh, or there could be an increase in the fee and maybe you can ask for some waiver. I don't know. There could be something over there. All right. So check supplier agreements always. Don't always assume they check. You need to check. You need to do your due diligence as well. Okay. Or even sometimes if they overcharge you, ask for a refund. Okay. Or renegotiate your contract. Mm. Sounds really good, isn't it? Uh, the other one will be ask your bank to waive a late fee or overdrawn charge. Uh, the other one will be process and file your tax. <laughs> That's very important, okay? Now, we are moving to the next category. Ready? The next category is vouchers, certificates, and loyalties, or what we call the coins. Okay, next is the resist the urge to give it to someone else, unless it's something you genuinely can't use. Collect up any old, unused, forgotten gift cards from birthdays and holidays and put them in your wallet. Sometimes, I don't know if you use some softwares, like I do, when you play, uh, you join a, an event and then you do a contest, online contest, and then they'll give you some Amazon gift card or some some gift cards, right? Some form of gift cards. And because it's in a digital format, it's in your email, you may forget them. So do remember to always check and uh, use them, okay? Next, spend any unused store credit. Uh, it could be credit in your Grab account, in your Shopee account, in your Lazada account, whatever that may be for you. Collect up vouchers for spas, for your hair, call and make the appointment and use them. Many of you buy packages. Huh? So please, go and utilize them. Don't wait anymore. Don't wait till the cows come home. They are never going to come home. All right? So go and use them. Next, some places will honor the certificate even if it's expired. Just ask. Okay, never harmful to ask, right? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? They'll just say no. If you can negotiate properly, you can tell them, right? So some places will honor the gift certificates even if it's expired. Okay, next one is to check voucher books for any good appoint opportunities to use a coupon, especially if you're spending the money anyway. So this one is also applicable in the shopping apps. There are vouchers that are claimable. I, I just have to say Shopee, right? Because that's the one I'm using. Shopee, Lazada, Grab. There's plenty of vouchers. Plenty. You just need to sit down and look for them. I know, you may be, you were telling yourself, uh, tell me now, oh, Janisha, I'm busy. Ah, I have all the money. I, I have this, I have that. I don't really care about the vouchers. But you know what? Hey, if it's there, 
they're already marketing it and telling you their vouchers. Use them. They are part of your abundance, okay? Next, check loyalty statements for the chance to redeem prizes or gift cards. My brother has traveled around the world, literally in business class because of his work and his points, his miles on the airlines is unbelievable. It can buy my mom, he can buy my mom business class and fly her around the world as well. That's how many points and how much points he has on his loyalty card for the airlines. So please go and use them, find them, use them, okay? Next one, book a holiday with your frequent flyer points. Go do that when the borders open, when you have done your vaccination, when the travel lanes are open. Of course, please take care of yourself and always stay safe. Next, call up for any mistakes on your bills that you need to correct. This is something that I want to highlight. Please talk nicely and ask politely, okay? Don't go in and be so nasty to people. Remember what goes around comes around. So ask politely. Use your Amazon credit and buy yourself a new book, if any. Claim holiday vouchers or use the free stays at your timeshare. I, I do have people who have those, um, they go to casinos. I have girlfriends who go to casinos and they have a lot of the hotel stays in Resorts World. And, you know, we can use all those vouchers, right? So claim those vouchers and actually use them and not let them expire. Next, claiming birthday vouchers from your favorite companies. Well, that could be some... Um, you know, anyway, if you're going to purchase some products from them, they may as well just claim birthday vouchers from them and use them to purchase the thing that you need anyway. The other one is to use up any prepaid calling cards or vouchers or give them away. One very good example was Skype credits. Uh, before, long time ago, where all the WhatsApp, uh, internet call and everything else was available, I was using Skype when I was traveling so much. And I have still a lot of Skype credits in my Skype account. And because I was already not traveling, I was back in Singapore because of COVID, my Skype credits expired. Well, it's not that I don't want to use them, but there was no use for them. Anyway, so you see, even for me, I, I missed out on the opportunity of using it. I can understand. So just do your best to use as much as possible, whatever that you have bought before, okay? We are going to the next category, business opportunities. Now, this business opportunities really... It's a space for you to make it easy for people to pay you. You can have something for sale. You can list your products or services up. You list it up. Because if you don't list it, people won't know what you're selling. Call PayPal. Ask PayPal to reduce the percentage you pay in fees if there's a lot of transactions that you are doing. Over a certain volume, you can maybe even call them to negotiate. The other one is actually promote your course in the next email you send out, in the next newsletter or in your social media. Do it. Go to your website and fix broken links. You'll be surprised that sometimes you say click here to go to the course or click here to find out more about the next workshop and then you find broken links on your website. So go and fix them or click here to and then it's broken, right? Broken means it doesn't go to the page. You did not either type it correctly or something is wrong with the link on the website. The other one is link your shop in the navigation bar. These days, social media is really noisy. So link your shop in your navigation bar. You can also put it in your social media, link in the bio on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, right? Whatever that may be for you, you just need to link your shop in the appropriate place for people to find you. Next, stop procrastination 
and stop procrastinating and finish your offers. Finish your course. Finish your podcast. Finish that thing that you want to sell. Finish that thing you want to promote. Finish that thing so that you can get paid to share what you love because you are inspiring and solving other people's problems. Please stop procrastinating. There will never be a perfect online program. There will never be a perfect book. There will never be a perfect something. Okay, you get it? Okay, so stop procrastinating and go and finish up your offering. Next, unclaimed tax receipts. You can send them to your bookkeeper and also check for any government grants, government benefits or business benefits. Well, in Singapore, we have quite a lot, especially during this season. So we always check what are the benefits, right? So next category we go to is refunds, mistakes, and rebates. Process any refunds you're sitting on or just get the paperwork done. Actually return any online shopping purchases that you're not going to use or wear within the limited guaranteed period please don't do strange things the other one is apply for any government rebates that you're entitled to get that paperwork done send polite complaint letters if you had recently have any bad service from any service providers process any outstanding health rebates and insurance claims Process any cashback claims. You can ask a refund from a store credit or check any coins or uh, missing items. Let's say there is a missing item in your grocery delivery. You can call them and tell them. Or if there's any defect in the product that you have received, call them and tell them or just request in the platform app that you have ordered from. Don't be afraid to do that, okay? Uh, you can also take unused purchases back to the store even though you've lost the receipt. Uh, however, of course, during this time is COVID-19 is happening. Uh, I think I don't think that will be that will be uh, that will be the path. <laughs> the other one will be check your refunds, uh, whether is it going into the right accounts. Because sometimes your refunds may be refunded to other person's account. So you just want to make sure when they say refund you in X number of days, just make sure you check your bill. I always do that, especially when I click on refund, for example, on the Shopee app, or I cancel my purchases within the app. I will always check my credit card bill or my bills to see whether it has been processed back into my bank account. And usually, uh, this is to really safeguard my money, right? So really important to do that. Uh, also, use up coaching services that you've already paid. And same thing goes for anything you've prepaid for, like your massages, your hair services, your nail services. Also, you can use unclaimed free benefits and entitlements such as optical, dental services, etc. All right, so these are some things that you can consider doing. Next category is to make some extra cash. Sometimes you just need to, uh, you just need some quick wins to unlock the flow of money. For example, list it up on Carousel. That's an app that is in Singapore, and we we have a like a platform, a marketplace that we can list our products to re, uh, sell to peers, sell to people who want secondhand products or pre-loved products. I think that is a great way to do it. Uh, have an impromptu garage sale and get rid of everything. Okay, you now you can even turn on live streaming now from any of the platforms on social media and run this garage sale and sell all the stuff you have just online. You don't even need to do it uh, and invite people over. And that's the beauty of it, right? You can also return your empty bottles, cans, etc. And some places even pay you for recycling. You can sell it to a friend, especially if he or she has offered to pay. You can even trade in your old mobile phone, your old laptops, your old computers, sell your gold jewelry. Uh, you can sell books on Amazon. Yeah, literally, 
You can even sell audiobooks now. You can have paid private podcast. Uh, you could have stuff like that. Like even for me, I do paid audio programs, free audio programs, paid audio programs hosted on platforms as well. So everything is possible if you just put your heart and mind to it. At least I've given you some examples. Last but not least, when all else fails and you need to feel abundant really quickly in a smart way, smart and safe way, first you can say yes to a friend's offer for a night out, her treat, let her buy you a drink, buy you a coffee, buy you a meal. Okay, dig into your freezer and the refrigerator for forgotten food. Okay, it's not if it's expired, please throw that away. But you can sometimes there are hidden stuff in the fridge, right? You have probably forgotten some of the desserts you have, the ice creams you have hiding in your fridge if you have a really huge one. The other one is to clean out your cupboard and use up everything. Okay, sometimes they're just left a little bit or sometimes there's still stuff that you, you can't see because it's out of sight, out of mind, right? So it could be, be at the back. So you could clean up your cupboard and use up everything and feel really abundant quickly. The other one is give gratitude for the air you breathe. Don't laugh. Yes, it's true. Give gratitude for the air you breathe. Say thank you because air is free and is abundantly there for you as a human being. Without air, you die, right? Well, of course, without water and without food, we all die as well. But I'm talking about the air. So give gratitude for the air you breathe. All right. Next, if you have perfume, you can wear your nicest perfume. Okay, or you can go to your cupboard and wear your most expensive outfit, carry your prettiest bags and put on your shoes again, kind of like do a OOTD, outfit of the day, or BOTD, bag of the day. Okay, and you can do a shoes of the day. So yeah, and kind of like make yourself feel good, right? So this is tips on feeling abundant. Right, these are just some of my tips uh, of feeling abundant. And like I always say, what do you do with all that abundance? Remember, spend it, save it, use it, and give it. Cool, right? Most important of all is always to acknowledge it and welcome it. Appreciation is powerful. The universe cannot send you more until you appreciate what you have. See what it brings up for you. Any guilt about particular sources of income? Share with us, all right? Share with us your ahas from this exercise. Are you, uh, where are you ignoring abundance already in your life? What forms of money for you aren't real? For example, some people feel like PayPal is play money or that it doesn't count if it's from something really easy, like selling an ebook. And can you see any recurring patterns? Where are you not allowing money into your life? For example, by not making it easy for people to buy you a drink or to pay for a meal for you. And also, last but not least, anyone to add to your forgiveness list or anything new to tap on or to discover and put it back to the list of awareness once again. So before I go, I suggest to you an affirmation. Are you ready? It's safe for me to enjoy my life it's safe for me to enjoy my life. It's safe to have good things in my life. It's safe to have good things in my life. It's safe for me to experience pleasure. It's safe for me to experience pleasure. Well, how does it feel for you? Thank you very much for joining me on today's episode and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.